गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग विद दिस टॉपिक टुडे नेम्ड चाचीज फ्यूनरल चाची डाइड एट सिक्स पी एम ऑन वेडनेसडे द फिफ्थ ऑफ अप्रैल एंड केम टू लाइफ अगेन एग्जैक्टली ट्वेंटी मिनट्स लेटर दिस इज हाउ इट हैपन लेट्स do now what is meaning of these sentences chachi was as a rule a very tolerant easy going person who waddled about the house without paying much attention to the swarms of small sons daughters nephews and nieces who poured in and out of the rooms chachi is main character of this passage and he used to walk here and there without paying attention towards the group of small uh kids there who used to come and go inside of the rooms but she had taken a particular aversion to her 10 year old nephew she has a 10 year old nephew named sunil she was a simple woman and could not understand sunil he was a little brighter than her own sons more sensitive and inclined to resent a scolding or a cuff and she was always in a wish that she could scolded sunil or she could hit her across the head he was better looking than her own children sunil was better in looking also than her children all this in addition to the fact that she resented having to cook for the boy while both his parents went out of office jobs led her to grumble at him a little more than was really necessary means the chachi used to scold sunil more than it is really necessary and she also wanted to take his help in cooking as well as in other domestic works sunil sensed his aunt's jealous and fanned its flames he was a mischievous boy and did little things to annoy her like bursting paper bags behind her while she dozed she used to disturb her while she used to take a little sleep take a nap or com- or commenting on the wet of her pajamas when they were hung out to dry on the evening of the 5th of april he had been in particularly high spirits and feeling hungry entered the kitchen with the intention to helping himself to some honey but the honey was on the top shelf okay honey was on the top shelf and sunil wasn't quite tall enough to grasp the bottle to touch the bottle or to take that bottle in his hand he got his fingers to it but as he tilts it towards him it fell to the ground with a crash it fell down with a crash and there was a sound let's see what happened then chachi reached the scene of the accident before sunil could slip away removing her slipper she dealt him three or four furious blows across the head and shoulders this done said she sat down on the floor and burst into tears after doing it all she started crying had the beating come from someone else sunil might have cried but his pride was hurt and instead of weeping he muttered something under his breath and stormed out of the room at once he left the room and uh, thinking that uh, aunt has done something wrong with me climbing the steps to the roof he went to his secret hiding place a small hole in the wall of the unused barsati where he kept his marbles kite string tops and clasp knife opening the knife he plunged it thrice into the soft wood of the window frame i will kill her he whispered fiercely he whispered terribly in a, a, a great uh, anger he was whispering it all i will kill her i will kill her whom are you going to kill sunil it was his cousin madhu a dark slim girl of 12 who aided and abetted who used to help him and who used to encourage him in most of his exploits sunil chachi was her mummy it was a very big family they all were living together and these cousins were talking to each other now chachi said sunil she hates me i know well i hate her too this time i will kill her how are you going to do it i will stab with this stab with knife knife the hurt with a uh, knife is called stab he showed her the knife three times in the hurt 
but you will be caught. The CID is very clever. Do you want to go to jail? Will they hang me? They don't hang small boys. They send them to boarding schools. I don't want to go boarding school. These are words of Sunil arguing with the, his cousin. Then better not to kill Chaji. At least not this way. I will show you how Madhu produced pencil and paper went down on her hands and knees and screwing up her face in sharp concentration made a rough drawing of Chaji as we can see it here. Then with a red crayon she is sketched in a big hurt in the region of Chaji's stomach. Here she had drawn hurt also. Now she said stab her to death. Sunil's eyes shone with excitement because she was there to help him. In fact, she was she wanted to do something else. Let's see. Uh, here was a great new game. You could always depend on Madhu for something original. He held the drawing against the woodwork and plunged his knife three times into Chachi's pastel breast. This pastel which is pasted, which is um, made with pastel color. You have killed her, said Madhu. Is that all? Well, if you like, we can cremate her. All right. She took the torn paper, crumpled it up, produced a box of matches from Sunil's hiding place, lit a match and set fire to the paper. In a few minutes, all the remainder of charges was few ashes. Means according to them, they have done their work. Funeral ceremony they have completed now. Poor Chachi said Madhu. Perhaps we shouldn't have done it, said Sunil, beginning to feel sorry. She, he has started to feel sorry now. I know we'll put her ashes in the river. What river? Oh, the drain will do. Drain is pipes which used to take muds and dirty water also. Madhu gathered the ashes together and leaned over the balcony of the roof. She threw out her arms and the ashes drifted towards some of them settled on the pomegranate tree. A few reached the drain and were carried away by sudden rush in kitchen water. She turned to face Sunil. Big tears were rolling down Sunil's cheeks. What are you crying for? asked Madhu. Chachi, I didn't hate her so much. Then why did you want to kill her? Oh, that was different. Come on then. Let's go down. I have to do, do my homework. As they came down to steps from the roof, Chachi emerged from the kitchen. Chachi appeared there. Chachi came there. Oh, Chachi shouted Sunil. He rushed to her and tried to get his arms around her ample waist. Ample means as good as he catch herself. He had done that. Waist means, uh, sorry, ample means sufficient. Now what's up? Grumbled Chachi. What? Is it this time? Means this is the time as you are showing me your affection, your love. Is it the time? Nothing, Chachi. I love you so much. Please don't leave us. A look of suspicious crossed Chachi's face. She frowned down at the boy. But she was reassured by the look of genuine affection that she saw in his eyes. Perhaps he does care for me. After all, she thought and patted him gently on the head. She took him by the hand and led him back to the kitchen. In this way uh, Sunil was uh, very much angry with her. We have come to know Sunil was very much angry with her, her aunt and uh, he had decided to kill herself. But lastly he had realized his mistakes also and felt sorry. Now it is our uh, tab script state of mind. Go through it. It is uh, Anonymous, I hope you know about this word where the name of poet, poetess or writer, author is not given. That is called anonymous. Go through it. It is very much useful, full of encouragement, full of positivity. Okay, so read it. And next time we will continue with our fourth unit, Name Achievers. Till then, bye-bye. Have a nice time.